I would like to start with a big thank you. It was a lot of effort to get to this day today. And there's been at least two teams on either side of the Atlantic working for this, even to just produce this little booklet that you, we all take for so granted. Um, took many hours of sleep and tears and sweat. So I would like to give a big thank you to not just the team, but everyone involved to put this together. Let's give it an applause. <laughs> and there are many more conditions that actually let you get here. You are healthy enough to travel. There was probably an airline or a train service to bring you here. Somebody else manages the other part of your life while you're here. If you're the boss, you have all the employees continuing the work while you sit here and listen to great stuff. If you're the employee, you have a boss that enabled you to get here and you have colleagues probably that continue the work while you are sitting here. So there's all a lot of reasons for us to be thankful to be here. And we are obviously in a business context and business is all about benefits and creating added value. So what is the benefit of gratitude? Anyone knows? Hank? Ah, that's a shortcut. Yeah, kind of. No, gratitude is very simple. If you're grateful, your mind opens up. You know, you have two sort of minds. One is inspired, open, creative, welcoming, appreciative. And this you activate by being grateful. If you're in the other mind, if you try to find the hand, the soup, or the nitty-gritty parts, the mistakes, you're in the small wind that gets you claustrophobic and all of this. So be thankful in the beginning will help us to have an inspiring day today. And let's move me to the next point. I like this little story. There are two bricklayers, layers, people who build walls. One is asked, what are you doing there? You say, look, obviously I'm building a wall. I do this from seven in the morning to four in the afternoon. I do this every day, Monday to Friday, and I'm really happy when I get home at four o'clock. Then they ask the second bricklayer, what are you doing here? He's obviously doing the same thing. He says, I'm building this wall to build this cathedral, like my grandfather did, like my father did, and hopefully like my children will do. I will never see the cathedral, but I'm building the cathedral. So it's the way we see the world. We are what we think with our thought we make the world. If we see this as a very another ordinary conference, it's just another ordinary conference. If this is just getting into the way of your con continuous flux of emails that you can't answer right now, then this is exactly what it is. If you see this as the cathedral we are building together to create a sustainable future, then this is exactly what it is. And I just want to help you to keep this in mind because it's a completely different frame of mind if we're building something together, share today to co-create a better future. It's a completely mind setting than just being at a normal conference. My last little point, after being grateful, being inspired, there's another key component missing, and this is clarity. If you don't know what you want to get out of here, how should we know? How can this conference, this meeting today and tomorrow, can deliver what you might want to get out of it? So I just want to take your second to reflect, what is your contribution? What do you want to get out of it? What is your footprint you want to make to make this useful, successful? And you could reflect on it, you can write it down, but keep it in mind. Just never lose it, otherwise you won't get it. Then it will be just another ordinary conference. So keep it in mind. Let's get going. Let's co-create. And now I have uh, two more very technical things to say. The one is, you find it on the board already, please do not use any personal hotspots. We found out that the personal hotspots sabotage the wireless, that's for everyone. So just be aware of the conference, whenever you switch on your personal hotspot, you actually have a negative effect on the rest. So if you're one of the ones without the personal hotspot, you will be affected by the ones using a personal hotspot, so please don't do it. If you have to because you can't log into your network, then Jews just very secret secretively somewhere in a corner at the break, but maybe not, not during the time, just, just switch it off. The second point is it wasn't clear to everyone that tonight we have dinner together. It's meant there's reception and the reception includes food, so you don't have to make plans for going eat. 
So stay with us. It's going to be a great evening. And now, the final moment. I welcome you and Mary. I have announced you so many times for speaking over the last seven years. So today, he's my co-host. And this is, this is a historic moment, at least for me, to stand here together with you, Mary, to work together with the TC to put this all together. This is really great. You and the floor is yours. Let's have a good day. Great. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay on the mic? Fantastic. A very good start. And um, I really wanted to, to first start by thanking Guido and his team at Tema Eins for really hand-holding us through this process of putting on our first major event, our first member summit here in Europe. And it's, it's wonderful to be here with uh, Guido and his team. I've known Guido for a long time. Is it seven years? Seven years. And we, we sort of started out in this space together, two rookies together trying to work out what carbon footprinting was. And there's a lot of work ahead of us, but there's no doubt we've made huge progress in those last seven years. And it's really a credit to all of you as well that we can come together and drive that agenda forward. And it really has been a, a wonderful time working with him, his team, to make this work a success. Um, I wanted to thank our sponsors. Uh, Prey Consulting have helped put on uh, both the events this week, and uh, we really owe a debt of gratitude to them. And I want to thank all of the TSC members who are in the room today. I know some of you have traveled far, uh, some of you not so far, but it's, it's great to have all of you in the room with us. Um, I also want to welcome all of our invited guests and also all the attendees at the PATH World Summit. I think, as Guido said, we have a huge opportunity in the next couple of days working together to push our shared agenda forward. And I think most of you know at least a bit about the Sustainability Consortium, what we do and how we work, but I know we might be new to some people. So I thought I'd take a couple of minutes just to explain roughly how I see it. So we're a, a global nonprofit organization focusing in on consumer product sustainability. And when we say that, we think both about social and environmental impacts. Uh, we're a membership organization, hence members. And uh, it's great that we're able to pull together people um, from a whole diverse set of organizations that really allows us to punch way above our weight. And we're really a, a translation service where we're trying to take the raw science and turn it into tools and insights for businesses to use, to drive change, to make impact, to improve our collective future. And if we're to succeed, it's that we've got that clarity in how we do that translation and we can be confident that's really driving the right sorts of actions and doing it quickly. And we work at the category level, looking product category by product category to understand the major impacts, the major hotspots, and what we can do about them. And we don't want to be all-knowing. We're not sure that's achievable. But we want to be just smart enough that we know what we should do tomorrow. And that's really the philosophy that we bring to all of that work. And the way we organize it, we think about three things. Firstly, we try to reveal sustainability by pulling together all of the available research so that we can get a conclusive, holistic picture of what's going on. Secondly, we try to translate that into simple to understand tools and insights for our members and other users to adopt. And here, we've done a lot of work in the last few months. We're about to launch a new, a new product, a new thing called a snapshot. And that's a one pager for a business user that distills all they need to know about the impacts in their product category. 
Now, we all know, because we do it every day, that behind that sits a huge amount of scientific research, of working groups, of expert input, and fora such as this. But our challenge is to streamline that, to bring it all down into something that's simple and easy for people to act on so they know what to do tomorrow. And this is another big step that we're taking in that way. And lastly, we want to help realize the impact. And that's where we see the need to help, to support, to train, and to help others to take action in their own businesses and elsewhere. And then, of course, we like to think of ourselves as a global organization. I think, as many of you know, we, we uh, started out in North America. And that means we're very big on the legals. We understand what it takes uh, to do business there. And so I need to just bring up our antitrust statement. Um, I'll give everyone a second to, to look at that, but really to remind you that we want an open dialogue today, but when it comes to commercial plans and the like, we need to draw the line. And then secondly, the, the policy on marketing, that we want to share ideas, but apart from Guido and I, I think we're the only ones that are allowed to heavily market our organizations. What do you mean by that? <laughs> um, so let me just say a few words about why this event is so important to us, the, the first member summit that we've run here in Europe. I guess the first thing is, being based in the UK, it's a massive help for my personal carbon footprint and, and also for my, my jet lag at this time of year. It's very busy to, to often be traveling and, uh, and I certainly see huge benefit from that. I know many of our European-based team and, and members do too. Our team, our office in, in Europe is based at uh, Wageningen University and Research Center. And I think they're often the silent partner in the work of TSC. So I wanted to embarrass them all by asking them to stand up so that uh, everyone in the room can see them. I think that includes you as well, Lan. I see you looking around. <laughs> so we've, we've lots of the Wageningen team here uh, with us this week, and, and please do introduce yourselves and, and make time for them. I think this week's also a fantastic opportunity for us to engage the Europe-based teams of our members and of new organizations. And, and I'm delighted that that many of our existing members, where it's often a North American person who participates in TSC, have uh, introduced European colleagues and they're here today. So organizations like P&G, GS1, CDP and many others, it's great to have you here, uh, even if your organization's an old hand with TSC, um, to have you here for the first time. And I think lastly, being here in Europe, it really reminds us of the need that there's lots going on in this space. And it reminds us of that need to focus on driving consistency, driving alignment in all we do to make it easy for those end users uh, that we want to help influence. And that's maybe a kind of funny statement to hear coming from a Scotsman who only 10 days ago was scratching his head trying to work out if we should stay in the UK. Um, <laughs> And, and there I chose alignment, and, and again today I choose alignment. So please carry that message forward. Um, I want to thank all of our speakers today and through the rest of the week, and in particular, Michele and Rana from the, the EU Commission who are talking to us about the path. And lastly, I wanted to finish up by just explaining a couple of things that, that I'm looking forward to. Guido gave us that challenge that we need to think about why we're here and what we want to get out of it. So a couple of things from me. Um, firstly, this week, we're also launching the new member portal of TSC, the new tool for our members. And it's a chance for us to demo that and for, for our members to get logged on. Um, is Mary in the room? 
I'm going to ask you to stand up as well. Uh, even for non-members, if you're interested in seeing how this works, um, Mary's around this week. She has a room down the hall and is demoing it up the stairs, rather. Um, Mary's demoing that, so, so please take time to do that if you're interested. Um, our partners from SAP are also here. Jim and Richard, are you in the room? Very good. Good morning. Um, and we have a number of other exciting speakers. In a few minutes, Karen Hamilton is going to give her keynote address, really with a theme about the need to drive alignment to make it easy and simple for companies to move forward. And then Michele Galatola's uh, update on the path, I think, is a real insight in how practically we need to move forward as a community to achieve our aims. And then Sheila Benini, our new CEO, is going to talk about TSC's role in this, uh, both in the work we do and in how we partner. There are workshops this afternoon, many of those focused on this theme of alignment. And lastly, a, a shameless plug for my workshop uh, happening tomorrow on the retail sector. Uh, the first part of that is for, for TSC retailers, but after that, we're opening it up for uh, everyone who wants to join, uh, including all the attendees at the, the PEF World Summit. So midday tomorrow, uh, in the loft upstairs, we're going to be talking about how to use tools, and in particular, the SAP tool, to drive progress, and also talking about some practical steps TSC wants to take to promote alignment with the EU PEF work and, and other initiatives. So enough of, of that from me. I want to, to finish up now by uh, introducing our keynote speaker. So Karen Hamilton is uh, VP of Sustainable Business for Unilever. She's worked for Unilever for a number of years in uh, commercial, strategic, and marketing roles. And in her current position, she's responsible for the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan. They're designing tools and scorecards and training for teams right across the Unilever business globally. And Karen's been a board member of TSC since 2012. So please welcome Karen. Thank you. 